Hi again, NEM community. Welcome to the NEM show. How are you? I, I hope you are doing really great during the holiday season. I'll be speaking with Oliver Muldoon, who's already here with us, sharing the screen here on the NEM show. And you're joining from Slovenia, right? Uh, yeah, so I'm actually from the UK originally, but I, I moved to live in Slovenia about 10 years ago. And uh, yeah, I um, really like it. Um, there's a big blockchain community here and um, it's home to lots of um, blockchain startups and um, Bitstamp, obviously, um, big, reputable exchange. Uh, yeah, but as I say, born and bred in London and uh, started my uh, profession working uh, for various law firms in central London. And um, it was then that I started to realize how much inefficiency there is in um, enterprises and big companies like that in terms of tech development. And I suppose that's kind of where the early, the early stages of a blockchain solution um, came, came to me. But I didn't realize what that solution was until obviously many years later. Um, so that's how it started. And then I um, joined Bank of America um, and I was the assistant vice president of their asset-based lending division in London uh, for the legal department. And then I was there during the 2007-2008 financial crisis. Um, it, this was preceded by the, the credit crunch when all of the major banks refused to lend money to each other. Um, and that was because of a lack of trust between them. And I thought to myself, well, wouldn't it be great if that trust problem could have been solved? Maybe we wouldn't. I've had to have dealt with such a, a major financial catastrophe. Yeah, and, and actually that's, that's, how, that's why we are here with this new technology blockchain, because it, it started just right there. As Absolutely, a means of yeah. trust. Yeah. Yeah, to solve the trust issue, you know, and um, I, I got quite kind of disillusioned with the, the way that the banking system at that time was working. And so I decided that I didn't really want to do that anymore. And uh, so that's why I came to go and live in Slovenia and uh, start a new life um, started working for the Slovenian government as a speech writer uh, for the president and prime minister at that time. Um, I also worked for the UEFA president, uh, wrote his winning speech for the, um, uh, for the UEFA presidency and just got involved in writing projects, really, uh, which is, um, funnily enough, how I got involved in crypto because I met Bitstamp and they were looking for a native English speaker living in the country who was a writer and had some financial experience. And that's how I started um, my journey in cryptocurrency. I met them. They explained how we could, you know, completely revolutionize um, the banking systems, back offices. And I was just immediately hooked. And I thought, wow, this is incredible. I finally found this. After leaving Bank of America, I finally found the solution. And that was in 2015. And so, yeah, for the last five years, I've just been loving this blockchain solution and um, been just working with communities ever since. And, and, and that's great. And, and it's an interesting travel, so to speak, because you're coming from financial sector and, and very big time financial sector. And then you land on community. And that's, and that's interesting, okay? because there are totally different landscapes. Why did yeah. you choose? Okay, first one. Why did you choose to work with communities? And how do you find them? How, how, how comes you ended up in them? Yeah, it is, it is unusual, but um, the reason why I work with the community is because I've seen firsthand how terrifying an experience it can be um, from from that side, you know, when you don't really know what a team is doing or the progress they're making, the regulatory issues they're facing, um, the challenges they have to overcome. And if there's no communication, it's very difficult to keep the faith and um, believe in the project and, you know, still support. So I saw that there was a huge problem there. And um, with, I, I raised $9 million in Bitcoin and Ethereum with um, a team. Um, we set up a, a project called Hive Terminal. And this was during the 2017 bull run, just at the beginning of it. And it was just insane in there. People were asking questions. How do I open a wallet? How do I do this? How do I do that? Is this a scam? All sorts of things. And um, I just realized that every single one of those questions had to be responded to. 
So I did. I just literally responded to every single question and um, calm people down and just explain to people that, you know, everything's under control. We're in the middle of a crazy situation here. Gave regular updates on um, communicate um, on the process that the team is going through, how they're building the platform. And I actually start to love it. <laughs> I actually fell in love with it. Because yes, I just yes. Myself, don't, you tell me, don't you tell me it's not a good thing to be some sort of communication enabler. I mean, if we're, if we're, an, if we're community people, we should be communicating and do it well. Do it in a, in a way everyone understands the, the message. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. That's right. And um, yeah, I've tried to take that approach always. Answer everything on every forum. So Twitter, LinkedIn, Telegram, Discord. doesn't matter where you are. If you've got a question, it gets answered. Because I found that when people get their questions answered, they feel respected, they feel understood, and uh, they feel more amenable about you know taking part. In, in a movement, which is really what, where NEM comes from, you know. And, um, and I first heard about NEM when I was at Bitstamp. And uh, that was like a long time, 2015. And this was in the very, very early days of NEM. And uh, then I joined the, um, the Red Group in 2018 um, because I was just fascinated about um, other blockchains out there and uh, their approaches. And I did some research there. Um, and then I was, I was headhunted uh, to come join the team because of my track record um, with um, other blockchain projects that I've worked on and uh, the successes that we've had in uh, turning around community sentiments and um, building powerful, um, engaged communities who don't just talk about price and um, speculation, but also want to get into the, um, the ideas behind this, the ideology, the problems that we can solve, uh, the money that we can make, um, the ideas that we can create, the ecosystems we can build. And as a result of that, that's why I'm here. And it's my hope that we can do this with NEM as well, because it's a sleeping giant, you know, and everybody knows who this is, who NEM is and who they could be and who they once were. And now it's just time to get us back on track. And speaking of that, Oliver, comparing that, uh, 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 comparing the, the NEM community to other communities, how do you see our NAM community? Uh, well, that's a really good question. As you probably know, I've uh, examined hundreds of communities um, online. I've visited all of them. Uh, well, not all of them. There's literally thousands, but as many as I could fit in. And the one similarity that I noticed between them and other projects is uh, that everybody is in a state of um, post-trauma. After the last uh, two years of um, the bear market, um, people became very disillusioned and uh, angry, uh, hostile, um, lost faith. Uh, and so that's one similarity that I have noticed because that's just affected every blockchain project pretty much across the board. But uh, one of the key differences I would point out is that of all those projects, very few have any reason to be cheerful or any reason to be optimistic. Of all those projects, um, NEM and Symbol launch uh, promises a huge amount. Um, and it's very difficult, I think, for people to see that because we've been so used to being so depressed for so long and so cynical and so disbelieving about what can come. But really, the evidence that I've seen um, internally, uh, the people who NEM have hired, it just gives me huge confidence about the future. And, and there is a reason to be okay. It is okay to dare to believe in this. Um, and that's kind of the message that I'm, I'm hopefully going to be trying to convey to the community in the next days, weeks, and months. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay to be careful, but you don't have to be sad about our, our, our future. It's, it's going to, to look great. And speaking of our community, well, we have our own social media channels. And we are inviting you to check all of those channels and send you, and send us, sorry, <laughs> send us your kind messages. They are helping us to, you know, doing it even better every, every time. So, you know, we're waiting for your comments there. You're coordinating also the, the activities for the symbol launch, and there's gonna be many things. What can you tell us about that? As you mentioned at the very beginning of the clip, uh, of this uh, interview, should I say, um, the NEM community is, um, really the foundation and the base of everything um, as far as i can see the idea started 
uh, with Utopian Future on the Bitcoin Talk um, thread. And now look at where we are. We've been through ups and downs. We've had a huge history behind us. Um, and it's a history that I'm actually looking into right now. And every, everywhere I turn, there's more to find out. Um, but now, five years later, six years later, we're here, you know, on really the precipice of a huge um, moment. It's a real crossroad. It's a junction in our future. So it's just really, it's, you know, it's time to celebrate. And that's exactly the question I'd like to ask, because I know there's a lot of people out there who, who want that, uh, and mostly with your expertise on the channel, okay? You, you, I mean, on, on this matters, because you know about communities, and you can tell us what could be the future of our community, of the NAM community, after Symbol. What can we expect from that? Well, okay, that's a, that's a really good question, and uh, I can't predict the future, obviously. Um, but, no, no you know, one can. No one can. And if you know I, someone, please tell me. Too. I will. I'll for sure let you know. I mean, I have hopes for the community, and I, and I really hope that they get realised. And I think that if we all pull together, we can do this. Um, right now, the community is made up mostly of um, traders, holders. Uh, some developers, analysts, there's a mixture of people who tick all of those boxes or maybe just one or two. And uh, really, as far as I can see, the future success of NEM as an ecosystem, it really depends on developers using the blockchain software that we're, pr we're producing and uh, creating solutions to existing problems. And the more um, community members we can encourage to start looking towards this way of interacting with the community and them, I think it's going to be the better for everyone. Because if we have a thriving ecosystem, um, something like what Ethereum uh, are going through right now, then you know we don't have to rely on um, the whims of the market. We don't have to be subject to volatility. We can create an ecosystem that's pumping, um, that's vibrant, that's thriving, that encourages people to use Zem and Zim and hold it, stake it, do what you like with it you know we need more opportunity and options and that's why it's so exciting we're right at the very start of that so that's that's what i'd like to see happening um it won't be immediate but you know this time next year i think we should see a very different um community um but generally you know i think that it's going to be a very difficult task and will take a long time but i'm optimistic if we all work together we can do it more than bright words from a specialist in community. We're very thankful for having you, not just on the show, but on our team, Oliver. If you think you have something else to say to the community, please feel free to do so. I will do, yes. We have a meme competition coming up as well uh, to celebrate the launch. So if you are artistically minded and would like to represent Symbol in visual formats, please um, check our uh, competition on NEMHub. I'm really happy to be here and I'm really looking forward to working with the NEM community. I think we have huge potential. Just believe in it. Well, that's a spirit for now. Thank you, Oliver Muldoon, our global social media head on the NEM group. And well, as usual, we'll bring you more on the NEM ecosystem on the next show. But this one is finished by this time. My name is Alexis Trujillo. See you again pretty soon. Thanks again, Oliver. Thanks, Alex. See you.